In this video, I'm gonna quickly talk about each and every one of the film cameras that I currently own. You can find many videos like this from different film photographers and here is my version. I start the video with my first camera ever. This is Konica EFP-J, my first camera ever. I have this camera since I was almost 7, making it one of the oldest objects that I currently own. I mostly used it to take pictures of friends and family in my early school days. Of course, I don't have many of them, but I always regard this as the camera that started everything. And after more than 33 years of sitting unused on a shelf, I used it again last year as a part of my 365 project and I found that it still works. But seems that the lens is a little foggy. The technical aspect of this camera is terrible, but I will keep it as one of my most valuable objects forever. Now this is Zenit 122, my first serious camera. I got it as a gift from my father when I was around 12 and I took many memorable family photos with it including my sister engagement and my niece's birth. I had this with the famous 58mm f2 lens and eventually I bought a 200mm f4 and a crappy 28mm for it and I eventually sold them to get more modern gear. But another important thing that I did with this camera was astrophotography. Back in the 90s, I did a lot of astrophotography. And one of my best photos is from the solar eclipse of 1999. I used my Zenit as my main camera until my first digital camera that I bought in 2005. It still works fine and here are some recent photos from it. Then let's move to some less serious cameras. This is my Olympus Mu 3 wide 100. I have this camera for less than two years and you can watch my video about it here. It's an easy to use camera with good image quality and I think it's a perfect travel camera or a good sidekick to my more serious cameras. Then there is my Fuji Instax Mini 70 that surprisingly I use a lot to capture some fun moments with family and friends. I even used it on our road trip to Newfoundland that you can watch its video here. And I plan to use it a lot more in future. Now let's move to these two cameras that I bought on an impulse. Rolly 35 looks very cute and it's an object of desire, but at the same time very well made and functional and capable of taking good photos. Here is my video about it. Then this is my Minolta SRT-102 that I bought just to have a Minolta. It takes great pictures and my video about it performed much better than I expected. Here are some sample pictures. Then let's move to my more serious cameras. From 2010 until now, I've always had at least one Nikon camera, either digital or film. I really like the brand and I think they have made some of the best SLRs and DSLRs and maybe some of the best cameras ever. I have this Nikon FE for around 10 years now and I used it mostly in early 2010s. 
when I was not as serious as now about film and mainly used it as a throwback to those good old film days. Here's the link to my Nikon FE video if you are interested. Now here is my Nikon F, the original version, one of the most important cameras ever made. I have this camera for around 2 years and I've used it a lot with this 50mm f1.2 AIS lens. I'm gonna make a video about it very soon so stay tuned for that. I also have other lenses for my Nikon system but it's a subject for another video. Now let's go to my current favorite 35mm camera, something that I like even more than my Nikons. And you guessed it, it's my Leica M3. I've had a digital Leica M240 for almost 8 years now and I always wanted to try a real film Leica. And finally during the time of Covid I found this one on eBay. And it was one of my best decisions ever. It is also one of my most frequently used cameras. It is the camera that I chose to document the day that my daughter was born and probably someday I will gift it to her. Now let's move up to medium format cameras. Medium format is fun and you know it. Here is my Fujika GW690. With its massive 6x9 format it takes breathtakingly good photos. So good that most of the times I don't see myself worthy of using it. Here is the link to my video about it. Then let's move to this Mamiya C330. You know what it is. It's a lovely 6x6 TLR and of course the only interchangeable lens TLR. It was a birthday gift from my wife and I used it to document the first 8 weeks of our baby. Then let's take a look at my first medium format camera ever, my Pentax 645N. It's an autofocus SLR coming with all the perks of an SLR and has a wide range of lenses. Here you can see my video about it. Despite its size and weight, I think it is a good travel camera, especially if you are on a road trip or renting a car to go for sightseeing. So that's it. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If yes, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram.